So welcome to code walkthrough where coding will be made easy. So in this video we are going to see how negative numbers are stored in C. So at the end of this tutorial we will be able to answer why sign scar has only values from 127 and minus 128, why unsigned scar has values from 0 to 255, how computer actually stores the negative numbers and which bit determines the negative side. So for all these questions, we are going to get answers at the end of this video. So let's get started. Sign to unsigned character type will actually have a length of 1 byte. So in case of signs character, MSP of the byte determines whether it is negative or positive. So what is MSP? In case of 8 bits, I'm going to write. So this most significant bit is the bit which determines whether it's a positive number or negative number. So if the MSP value is 1, the number is a negative value. Else the number is a positive value. So thus in the case of signs care, this one bit has been reserved. So for example, starting with the bits of having values of zeros in all the remaining seven bits and and the next and higher end, uh, one in all the remaining bits. So this is the maximum value we get, minus 128 and 127. So in case of unsigned scare, we are not going to reserve any bit for the sign operation. So we are going to get a complete number from zero, the whole um, 8 bits are going to be set to 1, so 255. That's from 0 to 255 we are going to get. So before get started, let's dive deep into how, uh, what is the 1's complement of the number. So what is 1's complement? So the 1's complement is nothing but we are going to perform a not operation. For example, I have a character which is of minus 5 and the positive number is going to be 5. So I'm going to do a once complement. That is, I'm going to do a not operation. So once complement is nothing but a not operation. So what is not operations? So all the zeros you're going to convert into one, and all the one you're going to convert into zero. So this zero I'm going to convert into one, and one to zero, zero to one, one to zero. Like I'm going to convert. So this is the corresponding my once complement. That's not operation. So what is the corresponding value? This value is minus two. So what we are going to do, so we are going to add this minus 5 and a positive 5. So binary numbers we are going to add as it is. So what is going to happen? So 0 plus 1, it will be 1. And 1 and 0 will be 1. 0 plus 1 will be 1. And 1 plus 0 will be 1. We are going to perform a binary addition. So minus 5 plus 5, we, go, we got 0. No, we got F. And now how to find the two complements of a number. So for example, two complements of the number, I'm going to first add a, find a ones complement. And to that ones complement of 5, I'm going to add 1. So the value of 5 will be 0, 1, 0, 1. And the ones complement is the 1, 0, 1, 0. I'm going to just invert the bits and to which I'm going to add 1. So now I got 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is the twos complement and whose value is actually minus 3. So the 5's corresponding value will be minus 3. So add minus 5 represent in 2's complement to plus 5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just add. So 1 plus 1 will be 1, 0. So 0 and 1 carry over. 1 plus 1 will be 0 and 0 and 1 carry over. So 1 plus 1 will be 1, 0, 0 and 1 will be carry over. So 1 plus 1 will be 0. The one which are going to get, we are going to ignore. So what we are going, minus 5 and 5, we got a 0 value. So this is how we are going to find a 2's complement. So as you can see, in the 1's complement, if we directly add the binary numbers that we store for the negative number, we didn't get the expected addition result. Whereas in the case of 2's complement, we perform the addition operation so that over the binary numbers that is stored for the negative numbers we directly got zero so this is the reason why we go for the two's complement so two's complement is used to store the negative value in computer memory 
So tools complement is used basically so addition doesn't need to have any specific logic or to deal with the negative numbers. So whatever value being stored, we can directly use it. So this is the reason why we go for the negative numbers. So let's try out some examples. For example, I'm going to store 1. I'm going to find the negative number for minus 4. So what I'm going to do, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the value for my positive number. So then I'm going to find the 1's complement. It's not operation. So 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is the operation I got. Next I'm going to add 1 to this 2's complement. So what I'm going to get, if I add 1, I'm going to get, so 1 plus 1, it is basically 0. I'm going to add carry over 1. So for which I'm, again, I'm going to get 0, 1, 1. So this is how I'm going to store the minus 4 in my computer memory. So now I'm going to perform the addition operation. So 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the binary value of plus 4. Then 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. This is the binary value for minus 4. So what we are going to get? We should get the result of 0. So I'm going to add plus 4 and minus 4. So 0, 0, 1 plus 1 will be 0 and 1 will be carry over. So 1 plus 1 I'm going to get 1, 0. So this is going to be, I'm going to carry forward, I'm going to neglect. So we got the value of 0. Next what we are going to do? So we are going to do a addition operation with subtraction operation with 6 and minus 4 which is basically 6 minus 4 we should get the result of 2 so we are going to check 0 1 1 0 and for minus 1 we already found out which is 1 1 0 0 so I am going to get 1 1 0 0 so what value are going to get 0 1 and I'm going to 0 1 is going to be carried forward so that 1 plus 1 again will become 0 and 1 so this I'm going to neglect it carry forward I'm going to ignore so 0 0 1 0 so what is the output of it the output will be so this more significant bit is 0 so it is a plus sign and 2 1 0 will be 2 so this is the value I've got next I'm going to do for minus 8 plus 2 just this for this problem you work out yourself and you will be able to find out what value you are getting so like try for example minus 5 plus 3 so these are some of the sample questions which you can try out for yourself. So now let's uh, do some workout. Uh, okay. Now we are going to store the numbers and negative numbers in the choose complement form. So now next what happens when we are going to retrieve the number that is stored in the memory. So as I also already said, now in this sample program I have two integers which is the unsigned cat temp1 and other is the character. So uh, this display binary functions will just print the number in the binary format and I am going to print both temp1 which is the unsigned char. This is a one temp1 is of unsigned char. I is unsigned char and temp2 it is of signed char. That is the major difference. So now we will check whether the result 
uh, vote whether it is unsigned or signed uh, it is going the negative numbers going to be stored in the two's complement form and when we are going to print a value for unsigned can what value is going to be printed and for can what value is going to be printed so this is a part we are going to see I'm going to run this Okay, let us see a result. So first temp one, which is of unsigned cat. So as you can see, the binary number it is of the same representation. So let's check whether it's correct or not. Okay, I'm going to take a notepad. Okay, we have used the. Um, so we are using the minus 5. So minus 5, I'm going to check. So minus 5, we, how we are going to store? So this is a 8 bit notation. So 8 bit notation in the sense, uh, I'm going to store as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 0, 1. So next negative sign if I'm going to get what I'm first I'm going to find the ones complement. So ones complement form how we are going to find one, 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 then one, zero, one, zero. So this is how we are going to represent in the ones complement form. Then ones complement this is my ones complement. Next to the ones complement, I'm going to add plus one. Plus one, I'm going to add. So my result would become one, 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 and then one, sorry, from right hand start. Okay. So 1 plus 0 will be 1. Then again it will become 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So as you can see with 1 adding we got this is a number. So this is the numbers we got in the case of the 1's complement, 2's complement form. Name next uh, unsigned care we are going to print. So what uh, printf will do? The printf knows that this temp1 is of unsigned care. So it will not consider this bit as the signed bit. It will consider it as a value itself. And so that whatever value is being present that would get printed. So let us check. So its value will be 128 plus 64. 32, 16, 8, and its value will be 0, 4, sorry, 2, 1. So, addition of these numbers we get 251. Okay. And we are going to print the sign character. So, now the print of the compiler knows okay it is of we are they are going to print a sign character so since it's a sign number we have to look into the msb so it will look into this msb format so what it will do it will find the reverse of the msb com mm. for two's complement it will find the inverse the reverse operation be performed and thus for uh, unsigned we get the value of 251 where is a, in case of sign characters we get the value of minus 5 so this is how it's been performed so this is the basic behind how the negative numbers are stored in memory so thanks for watching and uh, we'll explain about the more of the bit manipulations operations in upcoming videos thank you